We've made this decision because uh, we, we always like to look at the championship and review it periodically. Uh, with that in mind, we always try and move it forward. We always try and develop and change. It's more an evolution than a revolution, but at the end of the day for us, we believe that this will enhance the championship. Uh, there'll be more positive rugby shown, I think, and uh, I think perhaps more tries, and that's really what we're trying to achieve. We have to ensure that whatever we introduce materially improves the competition. It materially improves it not alone for the, uh, the fans, but for the players, also for the broadcasters and for everybody involved with this. So it would be, it would be wrong of us to introduce something that we are not sure how it's going to go. Um, if it affects the competition detrimentally, then we have to be in a position where we can um, look at it again uh, and uh, alter it or rejig it in such a way that it, that it will uh, materially uh, improve the competition. It, it is rugby's greatest championship and for that reason alone we have to be careful what we do. So we'll try it, try it out and uh, we're, we're hoping we'll get really positive response to it. Um, and at the end of the day, we, we would have to review it just to be sure that, you know, what we've intended is the consequence we got. So at the end of the day, uh, it's just good order to ensure that we, we trial and see whether it works or doesn't work and, as I said, achieves the objectives we're trying to set ourselves. Well, this isn't a new proposition for us. We've been looking at it um, on a number of occasions and on each occasion we decided that time wasn't right for it. However, we have now, uh, in, in conjunction with our partners, decided that uh, it, the time has, ar has arisen for us to actually put our foot in the water and to try and uh, to, to improve the competition and we believe that the introduction of bonus points will, will do just that.